Hey all, Russell Garber TV, how you doing today? Back working on the van, yay! <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but you know, after a while it becomes a little bit tedious. Battery box is in, I'm gonna recut the face. I don't like that board, it's not fitting good. I'm gonna eliminate that hole right there. I'm not gonna put a plug there. Things change. I got the ones on the side mounted. I'll go through a final thing all the way through. Right now I'm adding the plugs uh, that I was going to put on the face. Right there is my hole saw. Drilling out that board. And these are the plugs. It's uh, One's a USB. The other one's just 12 volt. Over there where the factory plug was. That thing was really broken and all messed up. I tapped a temporary wire in it, but I'm going to replace it. Also, I'm going to eliminate the factory wire, and this will be hooked to the battery box as well. Same plugs, the, uh, the screw in. I have them in the trailer. I put them in spirit. I've used them often. They work great. They're well made. They come with pre-made wires that you just push on. Here, I'll push a couple on real quick. There, positive, negative. So I will temporarily hook it to the engine, uh, the van wiring. Just make sure it works and show you what it looks like. Cause I'm waiting on UPS for a delivery too. So I'm just kind of killing a little bit of time. Okay, it's hooked to the van battery right now, which I will run another line. I'll do another video on that, showing that. But you can see the blue light, it's lit up. They do work. 12 volt and also USB. And I hear the van of the UPS driver pulling in. I'll be back. Okay, you ready for this? This is what I've been waiting on. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to open this. What this is, a friend of the channel, Auto Pops, emailed me and said, Russ, you gotta check out this link. I just found a couch bed. And he's, he was getting one for his van. I checked him out. And my goodness, it fits the bill perfectly for a van build. Wait till you see this thing. Very excited. This is perfect. I took out that old frame there. That's gone. Now I have this couch bed, which I'm going to have to make a frame. All I'm going to do is cut down the old frame for it. I'll show you that. But wait till I get this open. You'll see what it is. It's perfect. Okay, let me get this box open. See it expanding? It's 10 inches thick of memory foam. This thing's going to be comfy cozy. Okay, let me get this plastic off now, too. Check it out. Here it is. It's going to fit on a I'm going to build a frame. It'll sit up over top of the fender well there. But look, it's in the couch form right now. <laughs> you flip it over and it's a bed. <laughs> Too cool for school, huh? Soft. That cover's washable. And it wasn't a ton of money. Been putting a little thought into the frame. I'm going to utilize those milk carton crates there too. 
for storage underneath. I'm going to rest the board right on top of the fender well. That will determine height. Any higher than that, my head hits the roof of the van, so the height of the frame will be 9 inches. This thing is 10 inches thick, which makes it 19 inches off the deck, which is about as much as I can go. Otherwise, you hit your head if you're sitting in the van. This is a regular van, not a high top. So let me get the frame cut and fit, and I'll be back. Okay, there you go. I cut down that old frame. I lowered it. The old frame was like 16 inches high. This one is 9. Now these milk crates, I'm going to cut them down so they slide underneath. Because what I need is support for the bed. When the thing flips over, you just can't have it hanging there. I'm going to cut down a couple of those uh, milk crates real quick, and then I'll show you what I mean about when you flip it over, it needs support. So, I'll be back. Okay, the carton is 9 inches. And I'm going to make it so it slides it and also offers support. Now when I pull them out in the evening, see right there I can slide it under. But in the evening when I want to make it into a bed, I will pull those crates out and the cushion will lay right on top. I'll show you what I mean here as soon as I clear off this bed. <laughs> couch full of junk already okay I'm just gonna pull it out all I have to do is lift slightly on the frame it's not that heavy let me get this other one out here See the frame is resting on the back of that carton. Let me move some more junk. <laughs> hey, the maid's off today. Watch it. See? Right there. There's a support for the bed. Now I'll modify it. I'll put something over top of the crates. I'll make it good. But that's the idea. I will sand down the sharp edges here from cutting and I might have a little board I can lay across there or something soft so when I make it into a bed it has good support. But isn't that cool? That'll work perfectly. Then I'm going to have a couple legs underneath just for additional support. I will move those that are right there right now once I get the crates in place. I'm going to paint everything so you don't see bare wood so that it'll have tons of support. And there's a little notch outs here. It's a place you could actually set a drink or something. I'm going to trim it so I don't hit it with my leg all the time. I'm going to angle cut that right off. That should work pretty good. Okay, well I'm going to get busy. I'm going to get some paint on this get the uh, cartons in place and let's see how it turns out I kind of got it laid out pretty good. I got three cartons cut and I have room for one more. I'm going to go ahead and cut this black one down too. So I'll actually have four storage containers. 
Voila, there you go. Got four storage containers. Got the paint on. It's laid out good. Got a couple brackets I'll attach to the wall. Other than that, this is a done puppy. Really liking it. And the amount of room I'm getting is phenomenal. I'm really happy with this. Thank you Auto Pops for sending me that link. This really made this van build turn into something good. I was really struggling on that bed frame. I did not like what I had before. This is absolutely perfect. Fit like a glove. Okay, I got a little time to kill. A lot of this paint's drying. Got the legs cut out here for it. They're painted and drying in the sun. Weather is picture perfect. We're back up in the 70s, almost 80 degree weather now. Okay, well now I'm gonna get the legs attached. Get it kind of lined out, throw the bed in here, see what it looks like. There you go, there is one custom couch bed installed in the 2008 Ford van. This thing is really turning into a camper now. Look at that, and it is comfy to sit on. Let's pull these out. I still got a little bit of work to do on the storage bins. Make them work a little easier, but look at this. Watch it. Flip it over. Tons of support. I'll play with it a little bit. You can just add more. It'll work good. Ton of support. So now I got a place to sleep and sit in a little van. I mean, how cool. Links will be in the description. Be sure to click on them. When you click on the links, that always helps the channel grow. Alrighty. Well, I think this is a call it a day. I'm tired. Maybe I'll take a nap. <laughs> okay, too funny. Alright, there's Russ signing off now. I hope everyone has a great day. Don't get travel safe. Talk soon.